Hi, my name is Carly Oakley. I am a senior biologist and intern coordinator here with the Sea Turtle Conservation Program at Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Nesting season here goes through May 1st to the end of October, so October 31st was the last day that we patrolled this area. So this 2023 season, we were able to mark off 227 nests. We also were able to identify 240 false crawls and were able to help out approximately 12,000 hatchlings this season. On average, we normally see about 300 nests in one season, so this year was a little bit lower than usual. However, we were depicting and predicting that it was going to be a lower nesting season this year. After one season, female sea turtles do tend to take one to two years off to regain the energy that they put into making all of these nests. So here we were depicting, based off of those trends, that we were supposed to have a lower nesting season than in previous years. This season we did unfortunately have Hurricane Idalia come through. So before Hurricane Idalia came through, we did have 75 nests left on our beaches. After the storm came through, we were able to come out and survey the area after all of the coastal flooding on our barrier islands. Unfortunately, we did lose most of our nests, but we were able to reestablish 14 of those and watch them to the end of their incubation periods. So you may be asking, how can you help our sea turtles? One good way is helping by keeping our beaches clean, making sure that everything that you bring with you, including your beach chairs, your trash, filling in those sand holes, as well as knocking down your sand castles, will make the path for the sea turtles from the water to the nest and from the nest to the water that much easier for them to navigate back and forth. Another thing you can do is just keep your lights off. Keep those shades drawn. Uh, what happens is, is based off of civilization needing to have bright lights out on the horizon, it causes our females and our hatchlings to become disoriented or confused in which they believe that the east side is actually the water versus the west side, which would normally be our moonlit starlit water. So even if you're not on your beaches, anything ecologically friendly that you can do will in the end help out our nesting sea turtles. Anything from picking up trash on the side of the road to making sure you are not using single-use plastics will definitely help our turtles in the long run. I feel really honored to be able to work with this endangered species and work to prolong their longevity that they have here on this earth. I know me personally being an intern coordinator, I'm actually helping motivate and inspire that next generation. So I do feel like that to be a real privilege to be a part of this team.